Hello everyone, my name is Mecha, and we're back for another chapter of Thracia 776 Iron Man. This time we're going to be looking at chapter 9, and we're not just going to be looking at it, we're going to be playing it. And I am scared, actually, I am scared to death, because... I think there's always going to be a chance of someone dying in this chapter. It might not be someone who's very significant, but it might be someone. Uh, let's listen to the story first. You know, you think after Gomez we've had the worst, but this chapter is actually the worst. I actually don't mind playing it too much in like a casual playthrough, but for Iron Man it might be one of the worst. Um, I'll take a quick look at the map first, but the boss isn't here yet, so not much of a point. So, this is the first defend map, but it's also an escape map. You gotta both make sure that no enemy reaches this point, and you gotta make sure all your allies reach this point. Same rules as other escape maps, otherwise. Uh, most of the enemies are here. There's a group of Draco Knights here, including a boss that will pop up soon. And these guys, they will probably head for the escape point. And your only way to stop them, besides Karen, who I no longer have, is the four scrubs that will come out and defend it. And then you've got the group of Armor Knights right here that will also attack you if you get into a range and an annoying Meteor Bishop that I really want to capture because he has some pretty good stuff in his inventory. So uh, I have a safe state here with all my deployed units. And the reason I have to save state specifically is because I rolled some pretty funny movements uh, values on the enemies. A lot of them have like plus one move, so I thought that would be fun to play. You know, gotta make it a little bit harder, right? So I've got Leaf, Asphel, Nana, who's dismounted, uh, Finn, Ronan, Fergus, Carry On, because he needs to talk to one of the units in this chapter to get the Paragon Sword, and Dakdar. So yeah, we're fielding Ronan, of course. <laughs> I, I really don't want to give him the leg ring, guys. What are you making me do? Uh, I don't want to do it. I actually want to give it to Orson, but um, he's not quite fatigued, but he's close. He has like four fatigue from it, so since I really want him for next chapter, I decided I'd let him sit this one out, since we've got so many good units right now. We probably won't need Orson that badly for this one. And this way my starting positions also work out. Safi's also fatigued, but I don't need her. Uh, she reached eight, eight staff, so we don't need her for a little bit. Uh, Finn is probably going to be very important for this chapter. So yeah, um, let's watch some more story. You probably recognize these people if you've played it before. You know, I was never as much of a fan of Travant as a villain, tragic villain or whatever, uh, even after playing both FE4 and FE5, but reading this conversation a little more closely and reading it again, because I don't really read the story all that often anymore, uh, it's made me realize there might be more to it than what I've been perceiving so far. still think he's a bit of an asshole though, and a murderer. Okay, so someone told them they were bandits or something. Which is silly. This is Selfina on the right. She's Doriasa's daughter. And she also knows Finn pretty well. As well as Leaf. This 
people have no lines besides their death quotes. Another nice bit of story and gameplay integration is, you know, the sense of, you know, rush that comes to mind both in the story and in the gameplay where you have to save this mansion because these people aren't very good at defending a mansion. I guess I'll talk about them a little briefly. I don't have their growths on hand, but growths aren't very important in Thracia, so whatever. So the leader of the squad is Selfina. She's also the best unit out of all of these. She's an Arch Knight, which is like, kind of like Meteor in FE4 and kind of like the Nomads from the later games. She's a pretty fast Arch Knight, and I think she's like, because she has the best basis and the best skill set, she's easily the best unit out of these. She can use this Killer Bow, which does weigh her down, but her base speed is decent, and you know, there's ways to compensate for having low build, like, you know, high speed. And, you know, the Steady Scroll is available, so I don't think this is a bitch. <laughs> this is, I don't think this is a bitch either. I also don't think this is a big issue. And she has the Charge skill, which is like perfect for Archers because. Um, as you know, it prolongs battles, kind of like with Dagdar, if she has more HP and more speed than the opponent at the start of the battle. So this means she can attack safely from range and proc charge, so even if she doesn't have enough speed to double, she will attack twice. And if she has enough speed to double, she can even attack four times. It has a drawback where if she gets attacked by something like a Ballista or a Bolting Tome, and she has more HP and speed than the opponent, which is often the case because they don't tend to have a whole lot of speed. In that case, uh, she gets doubled by long range things, so you gotta keep that in mind, and it will usually kill her. Like for Dagdar, it's not a, as big of a deal because he has a lot of HP, so he will usually survive a screw up in that way, but Selfina is just toast if that happens. So, pretty risky f for a unit. I don't know if I'm gonna use her a whole lot, but she's pretty good. And then we've got three scrubs, like uh, Kain and Alpha are pretty much the same unit, and one of them has E swords and D lances, and the other one has. The exact reverse, right? Right? I yeah, I, I remember that properly. So I guess I'll try to think of a good way to show their growths, but there's no really not a whole lot to say about them. Their bases are pretty bad. Their growths are pretty good actually. I think I've used like one of them before in the playthrough and they were pretty alright, but it's not a whole lot of place for a random mounted unit combat. <laughs> a random mounted combat unit. Sorry, I've had a long day. They're okay if you raise them. Like in Thracia, you can raise almost anyone and they'll be fine. So it's not like they're unusable, but they're some of the worst units in the game. But that just shows how well balanced Thracia is, honestly. Then we've got Robert. He's kind of like mini Selfina. Uh, people used to think he was better than Selfina, but the biggest distinguishing factor between them is Robert has E, e rank and bows. So kind of like Ronan, except way later into the game, even. And, you know, he also has less movement, so there's that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he has E and bows, whereas Selfina actually has a B in bows, and later on we'll get the Brave Bow, thanks to her actually, so that also makes a really big difference that I should have mentioned. So we gotta save these people. Uh, there's a defend tile here that gives 10 defense, so worst case, I can just put someone on that defend tile that everyone escape, but I really want to keep Selfina on the field because Carrion needs to talk to her in, in order to get the Paragon Sword, and Leaf and Finn also have a conversation with her, I believe, so I want to show those. Anyway, I've developed a bit of a strategy here. Um, I want to lure as many of these Drake Knights as I can to the main group, so that the other group doesn't have to deal with them. I think it's inevitable that some troops will end up here. Uh, they can't really hold their own very long, they don't have enough Fulton Rays or anything. But I've never had too much trouble with it, casually, so hopefully I'll be able to put my experience to work here. Smeter Bishop, I gotta check his range real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, that looks a bit different from what I thought in my preps. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, so it's here. Yeah, okay. So my plan is as follows. Um, Asphel, I don't think he has an item to use. No, he doesn't. Good. Uh, I'm gonna rescue drop in with Fergus as close to the Wyverns as possible. Because Finn can reach this spot. So what I'm gonna do is Fergus is gonna pick up this guy, right? Double checking. Uh, Fergus can actually get further. Um, yeah, whatever. Asphalt can take a meteor anyway. 
so it's fine. As long as he's not in range of these guys. I just want him to be as far as possible. I, I, I thought Finn was close enough to have more range than Fergus because Finn has one more movement, but whatever. Basically, I want my best units to be closer to combat. Really close to the combat. And my plan is to have Finn and my other scrolled units lure some of the Draco Knights because I haven't showed you that yet, but they all have color lances and they're not just crit happy, but they are also very accurate. And the boss especially is kind of a pain. Murloc. He also has a leadership star, another movement star, thankfully. That would be a lot worse. So hopefully I'll be able to take out as many Draco Knights as I can. Or I'll be able to take out enough Draco Knights to where it makes a difference. Uh, right. I think our animation is off. Yeah, good. I'm not used to seeing all this anime. Uh, no item for you. Oh, I, I meant for a lick. <laughs> I meant to have Finn use the lock ring. I really cannot speak today. I've spent all day speaking, so pretty tiring, honestly. And these guys, I'm gonna do the thing I did with what's his face, Navar clone Shiva, and move these people far away. And hopefully the Dragonites will be tempted to go for me, but no guarantees. There's no such thing as a guarantee in Thracia. Yeah, some of the, I think like two soldiers have seven move, one of the archers has plus one move. One or two of the Draco Knights have plus one move. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I don't think it will make that huge of a difference, but it'll be funny. Okay, at least one. Uh, what are you guys doing? No. Man, I did. I put like so much effort into getting these guys closer to me, and they're still going for the scrub squads. Um, well, that's okay. He's going for Asphalt and doing one damage if he even hits. That's whatever. Oh, very explosive. I want to cap this guy while he still has Meteor equipped, so... Okay. So I think the plan is to have Finn take like all of them in one enemy phase. He has 16 speed, so he should quadruple all of them. Because I checked that he had like a ton of speed. Except this guy, he won't double this guy, but that's fine. As long as he's not cantoing out of range, I'm actually perfectly fine with this all. Okay, so Finn would have to go here. And let me just double check if he can take all the hits. So 21 attack, that's more than I remember. 28, 20, 21, oops, 20. Okay, so he needs to take 21 attack like four times already. Uh, he can't do it. He, he really cannot do it. In that case, we just gotta, gotta make sure we lure the boss and like two of his lackeys. And we gotta make sure that the boss cannot canto away. So I think I'm gonna go here. And that will also put him in range of the Sword Knights. But only one of them. This guy's a Javelin. Okay. Uh, it's not a Sword Knight, it's a Steel Thing Knight. Let's see, 17 attack. So that will do 6. So go down to 24. This guy's 20, so he will do 9. So I'll go down to 15, I believe. And this guy's 21. And that means he does 10, so he goes down to 5. <laughs> Oops. And this guy's a javelin, which is really weak, so that's 22 attack. Okay, if he gets hit by literally everything, he, he can die. So maybe just lure the boss, keep everyone else to their own devices. Maybe just... Um, I don't want to lure just the boss because the Draco Knights are really dangerous for the Scrub Squad. They don't even have all well, anything. But they especially don't have anti-crit scrolls. So I think I'll take the risk with Finn. The thing is he has like 74 avoid and miracle. And Leaf isn't even in range of him right now. Nana is though. So, as long as Nana is safe. I actually meant to use the Wrath Manual on Nana last turn. I can just do that this turn. Sorry for thinking a long time, but this is the, the most tricky and the most important turn of the, of the whole thing, probably. You know, I hear that in Kaga's other games you can... Yeah, this is the problem, this guy's 9 move. I hear that in the in his other games you can actually mark a tile, so I wouldn't have to keep checking all these ranges over and over. That would be a huge relief. Okay, so he has 79 avoid anyway, so... These guys only have like 30 hits, so... They would all have to hit him. 
So I think I'm just gonna go for it, go here. And Nana can pick a pretty safe spot over here. She might be in range of Meteor, but she can take one Meteor, I'm pretty sure. 25, yeah, she's pretty fine. So that way, his avoid will be pretty good. Um, you're not, you're not Nana. <laughs> good thing I caught that. Okay, so we gave Wrath to Nana. Make sure everyone else is out of range. Uh, I kind of want Leaf closer. Ronan can double and kill these guys in one round, by the way. It's pretty cool. Uh, let's see, if I grab Leaf and then drop him off with Dagdar or Carry On. That's all pretty good. I wonder if I can bait the boss with Dagdar. That would be pretty funny. Let's see, Dagdar can take enough hits, right? 14 speed is a lot though. Yeah, he gets doubled and he... Well, it doesn't activate charge, so it just gets doubled. I'm actually okay with that. Uh, but and he's also in range of meteor, and that's pretty bad. 16 attack on this like zero magic or something. Yeah, gross. That's not a very good. That's not a. That's not a recipe for a good ending. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, you're you're staying out of range. Of that. All right. Let's see what they're made of. I think one solution that Yellow Hello suggested, because this guy is like suggesting solutions for everything, is yeah, two hits. He, he's fine. One solution he suggested was having one of the scrub squads. I think he said Kine rescue Selfina and get under the Fentile, and that would buy enough time. I think that's what I'll go for, but I don't have to commit to it yet because they're nowhere near yet, and I can just do it a turn there near. Okay, well we got one of them. We went fishing. Finn has a scroll, so he cannot get crit. Which is why I'm feeling safe doing this. Looks like we're already low on water. Man. These guys just love chilling in the mountains. Not the boss. Yeah, I could have even taken more risk than this with Finn. But I might be able to pull one more wyvern next turn. Of course, the most important one is the boss. And if I kill him, that also takes away a leadership star from the enemy. The enemy. This is Meteor, I think. Yeah. Why are you going for Asphalt? You want to fatigue my Asphalt? Is that your grand plan? I really don't want to have to do another two-part. This is supposed to be a short chapter. Oh well. Come here, come here, yep. Um... If I recall correctly, he's not actually at the edge of his range, so this might be a bit annoying. Please don't canto too far away. You little bitch. <laughs> you little bitch. That's actually really annoying. I should have made sure you couldn't do that, but I wanted to pull more Draco Knights, so I don't think I really had much of a choice other than putting Dactar in range. Okay, so he's gonna go for like Ronan next turn or something. And he doesn't have a scroll. Um... Let's see. And now he's so close that he can do this same trick next turn. Annoying. But what can you do? <clears throat> so I think I'm gonna have Finn go ham here and get rid of these armor knights here. Because Finn is not afraid. And that will free up the way for the bishop. Be captured. Um, I'm fine with the bishop equipping wind, I think. That's a small price to pay. I'm just gonna rid up one of these guys. Um, don't fast forward <laughs> all the time. It's so, it's, such, it's so tempting once you know the, the conclusion of the battle, you just want to fast forward. And I think I'll stay here, keep the forest cover. And everyone else is going to have to pull back a little, just a little bit. Um, wherever Ronan is, it's like the only way to throw Lord the Draco Knight in. And this other guy's definitely going for the Selfina squad, but we do have two bow users there, so... 
as long as he formats, he doesn't do like a really annoying place to go. Speaking is hard, man. Okay, so if he has a javelin equipped, he only has 14 crit, which is still a lot actually. Uh, Ronan can get crit, so um, Asphel has a, a scroll, so I'm okay with Asphel going down with like a fire tome or whatever. And Fergus also has a thing. But Rona needs a scroll. I think I'm gonna give him Dactars. And getting Dactar out of range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. Okay, so he's not being impeded. Just wanna double check that. So one, two, three above carry on. One, two, three. That's where I want him to be. Yeah. So he goes there. Perfect. You don't get doubled, do you? That would be pretty sad if he did get doubled. But he doesn't. He has 14. Yeah, the boss has 14 speed. So I'll equip the Iron Bow, which doesn't weigh him down as far as I know. Yeah, it doesn't. And we'll get Leaf back here. Carry on. Nana, oh boy, Nana. Um, Nana can't be at two range, that's fine. She has a scroll as well. Um, she's way down to nine speed though. Oof. Nine speed is not enough, but as long as she hits, she is okay in theory. Uh, but I should have given her a more prominent spot, let's see. Uh, what if Fergus picks up Leaf and equips the Fire Sword? That's safe actually, I think. Yeah. Fergus picks up Leaf, hits the Iron Sword, and then Nana goes here, which she can't reach. And that keeps her safe. And Fergus has a scroll, so he cannot get crit, and he can equip the Fire Sword, so that hopefully Murloc will go for Ronan. I hate pulling back like this. It's really annoying. This looks safe. Turtling! The most fun thing to do. So this guy is getting lost as well. <laughs> oh well. Let's see. Don't escape. Just taking the tile for now. I really don't want to give up the Paragon Sword. It's really good, especially for an Iron Man. But I might be forced to. Things go awful. If Murloc is really conservative, he will attack Finn at two range. But in that case, I will probably be able to kill him with either Finn or Asphel. Man, I've never used the Brave Lance this much early game before, but I always have like a million uses left over after some point. Oh, look at these guys not even moving their full move. They're doing tactical maneuvers right here. Thracia AI can be scary at times. Nice hit rate, my dude. I can probably pull some of these guys with Finn. Because these armors just got out of the way. But Finn's inventory is a little bit full, so if he captures the bishop... He won't have anyone to trade the stuff to, and I really want to keep that stuff. Ooh, that actually kind of hurt. Maybe he will go for Finn now. Uh, yeah, that's for Finn. Well, that's fine. Ouch. That actually hurt. I would have equipped Calibre, but... You know, all these armor knights might have suicided on him. Oh, I got fire rank. Interesting. Alright, so that guy's doing down. Okay, let's see if I can bait one of these guys. Uh, I kind of don't want to, though. <laughs> I don't want to die. But I want them to get in my range. I wonder if they'll do it. Go back a little. See if they do it. Definitely gonna kill this guy. Well, so glad I pulled back for nothing. Mm, yeah, all these guys are pretty full up. Should have used the luck ring at some point. Maybe last turn. 
Oh well. If I kill this guy, these guys do 12 and 11, so Asphalt can take another hit. In fact, I think it can take a hit from both. Asphalt's buff. 12. 5. Yeah, it is 7 damage. The other one is 6. Sick. Okay, well, if I miss here, I'm toast, so... Really rather attack from range, but there's like no force. Oh, there's a force here, so I can kill the bishop or I can just move straight on ahead. I think I'll do the latter. Leave the bishop capturing to Fergus with his brave sword. I think. Eh. We'll take him out now. 12. Oh, that hit rate is kind of shaky actually. That hit rate is kind of shaky. Oh, damn. Finn, what are you doing? Doesn't double either. Okay, well. I guess I'll move on. And then we'll caliber. And the bishop should use meteor. This might waste a bit of caliber on the knights, but. At least Finn uh, asshole will get some wind rank out of it. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> uh, that will allow him to use Blizzard once he hits A in wind. Or maybe it's B, I don't remember. Anyway, uh, let's hurry up towards this bishop dude. Everyone here can take Meteor, I'm pretty sure. Nine mites. Yeah, 16, that's fine. We take those. Uh, let's not be too happy. I know you can move like everywhere, Rona, but we also gotta be a little conservative. There isn't always a movement star to fix it. But you know, sometimes it seems like there is. Okay, you should go for whatever is weakest, so probably carry on. They are approaching. And getting pretty close. Yes, target acquired, ish. Ronan? Yeah, I thought so. Wait, <laughs> he's in range of meteor, isn't he? Wow, I just risked the man's life, sort of. I mean, he would have had to get hit by both, but man, that wasn't necessary. It's okay, I knew Ronan would survive. Okay, nice one at KO. Saves me a Graph Caliber use. wonder if this bishop is going to suicide now. Nah, I think he can go for Dakdar. I mean, technically he can go for Dakdar, it just doesn't do a whole lot. Gives me healing fodder, probably. Um, hopefully he doesn't run out of Meteor uses before I can capture him, though. Because I really want his attack speed reduced to zero. Dactar really hasn't been that good for this map, honestly. I mean, no one's really done anything, but I can't really expect Dactar to do a whole lot. Except this stuff right here. So maybe I can weaken this guy with Ronan? Maybe. Let's get this knight out of the way first. I guess that's one thing Dactar can do. I left the hammer at home because it didn't seem too useful, and yet here we are. Um, Iron Axe, Charge, etc. It seems good. I'll do it from here so that he gets Nana's supports. I think I said last episode the crop walk is from Tellius, which was pretty silly. Obviously, the this is not Tellius. We're not in Tellius anymore. So he does 14 if he hits both. Oh man, he's not close enough. Uh, I want to distract some of these guys really badly though. Finn should go in with the Steel Dance probably. And get some easy kills. I'm 
So you lose the lock ring or the vulnerary. How much damage do you guys do? 16, 16. Oh, the archer just did like 14. Finn can take a ton of hits, but just in case I'm gonna vulnerary up and use the lock ring later. Ah, oh, shoot. <laughs> this is the, the part where the wait command is the first command. And the worst command. Alright, Robert, you're up. We're gonna kill one Draco Knight, and then we're gonna hope that Selfina is fine against the other one. Uh, thankfully, he does have more HP than her, so she won't proc charge. And she probably won't die either, unless she gets crit. But hopefully, he'll go for Robert. This guy also has more HP, so that's good. Goodish. This is a slightly, slightly, slightly risky formation, but we should be fine. I might trade away Kind's weapon so that the soldier goes for him. But, um, or I'll trade away his weapon so that the Draco Knight goes for him, and then he cannot canto away from Roberts and friends. That seems okay. I can even capture bait, actually. I think we'll give that a try. Yeah. Okay, Kind, you're now capture bait. I like that, actually. Man, how is Fergus not in range? You amaze me, Fergus. 